that's where we're getting set to bring you all of today's action. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron James is tied for the third most MVP awards all time. He's also tied for the most second-place finishes. Frank Vogel said it's a mistake to go season after season without voting the best player in the league as MVP. LeBron says, I should have more than four, but I don't cry about it. I bet a lot of the greats feel the same. Kevin? They probably do, and we certainly know how LeBron feels. David, thank you. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, no, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now the starting group for Orlando. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. Robin Lopez out there with Isaac, and it's Okiki in at the small forward. And for Los Angeles, and they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Trevor Ariza out there with Howard. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Westbrook against Fultz. Westbrook surveying the D. Davis finds James. LeBron is doubled. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by Isaac. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Magic. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. first free throw is good <laughs> and I love how versatile Terrence Ross is a wing that scores rebounds passes and defends it and his athleticism is absolutely incredible this guy can get up near the cup and can turn it on and score in a hurry and both free throws good for Ross the way he's shooting free throws tonight you simply don't want to put him there Westbrook dishes to Davis. Westbrook kicks to James. And the pass to Howard. Good, and the assist goes to James. Listen, we know that LeBron James can score at will, but he is phenomenal at hitting his guys with perfectly placed passes. On offense, here are the Magic. Passes it to Isaac. Fultz against Westbrook. Pass to Ross. Launches it. That shot missing. And the Lakers take it the other way. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. And missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one. You know this. Nothing gets a crowd into the game more than a bunch of missed free throws. That's one of the worst things you can do on the road. Offensive rebound. Here's Howard. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. If you had a question as to how Dwight Howard is up there amongst the all-time leaders in offensive rebounds, that's an example why. Fultz the pass to Isaac. Westbrook against Fultz. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. And the layup's good off the glass. This guy's an absolute beast. You see the power and the soft touch that LeBron James combines in his game. Wow. And it's the Magic's ball, trailing by four. Volts kicks to Isaac. Volts against Westbrook. Teardrop shot. 
Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Lakers have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Back to Ariza. Pass to Howard. He dishes it to James. Knocked away. Just five on the clock. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. He is still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Fultz finds Isaac. Back to Fultz. Over Westbrook. The Magic again can't hit. Nothing going right on the offensive end. Zero for four from the field. High post, Davis. Back to Westbrook. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration. Quickly, let's look at the numbers for Davis. Averaging 23 points per game, 12 rebounds, and over three and a half blocks. And not many players possess his kind of ability to protect the rim. I mean, you look at the block total, pretty remarkable. Well, I love it. Drivers think they see a, a crease to the lane and go for it. And eventually, he shuts the door. Now, here's Fultz. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Clippers. Frost. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the legs. LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. We're not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. The pass to Ross. A three. The shot will not fall. And the Lakers going the other way now. Now here's Westbrook. 20 points for him last game against Oklahoma City. And he also controlled the backboard as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. Here's Fultz. And finished off by Fultz. Boy, Markel Fultz in the open floor, capitalizing on the defense's mistake. Nicely done. Los Angeles leading by eight. Pass to James. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Ariza. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. On deep. The Lakers rebound. Howard, the pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Goes back up. It's hauled in by the Magic. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. The Lakers making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. And a switch here also for Orlando. Carter, he's checked in for Robin Lopez. The Magic trail by six. Isaac outside. It's stolen by Anthony. Here's LeBron. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. LeBron's got his third basket of the night. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. It's stolen by Ariza. And here comes Ariza. Leading the fast break. Oats it up for Davis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. 
They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Fultz, following the basket by Anthony Davis. Pass to Ross. The pass to Carter. Over Davis. The Magic again can hit. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Out to the wing. Westbrook finds Davis. Kicks it out to James. And that one falls. Coming off of Davis's speed. James has got nine points. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. So it's Orlando now. It's a 13-point game. Passes to Ross. Let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see which teams made the most of their opportunities on the offensive glass this month. Fourth spot held by the Lakers. And they've really put an emphasis on offensive rebounding. And guys, it's paying off. The second chance points are coming in bunches. And he knocks down the first one. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Jordan, he's checked in for Davis. Horton Jocker comes in for James. Monks checked in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. Orlando also making some changes. Bamba is checked in for Isaac. Wagner comes in for Okiki. And Anthony's subbed in for Fultz. Good on both. Here's Horton Tucker. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Pass to Anthony. That shot misses. So Orlando will take it the other way. Now here's Ross. Monk defending. And this is where Terrence Ross turns himself into a weapon. Drawing these fouls, getting to the free throw line. He is such an excellent free throw shooter. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. The first free throw is good. Falls, so he hits both of them. Lakers leading by nine. Outside Jordan. Pass to Carmelo. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Now the pass to Wagner. Outside Anthony. Passes it to Bamba. Wagner with it. Four on the clock. Here's Anthony. The offensive rebound. Count the basket. Well, excellent pursuit of the basketball by Mo Bamba. Love his effort there. Here's Monk, and then Monk with the dunk. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. The Magic trail by nine. Now Anthony, he had ten points in the win against the Clippers. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. And it's blocked by Jordan. Here's Wagner. Carter kicks to Wagner. And the three off target. Lakers leading by nine. 
None passes to Carmelo. Here's Monk. Pass to none. Stolen by Bamba. Down low. Here's Ross. Comes up empty down low. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. Horton Tucker. The pass to none. And there's the feed to Anthony. Here's Jordan. And another shot. Kicks to Monk. Pass to Horton Tucker. Stolen by Bamba. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The Magic making a switch here. Suggs is checked in. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Here's Bamba. He averages a bit over six points a game from outside the arc. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And it's Carter missing. Los Angeles leading by nine. And Wendell Carter Jr., not the biggest center, Greg, listed at 6'10". In fact, most reports would have him pegged at 6'9". And, and Carter Jr. plays like a seven-footer. Got that 7'4 wingspan and, and great head on his shoulders that levels the playing field with his height. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Monk. None finds Anthony. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? one is off well pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight he's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. absolutely and he's good on the second 112 left to play in the first quarter none looking around anthony dishes the monk Back to Anthony. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. I'll tell you, the kind of lockdown defender Mo Bamba can be. Send it back, young man. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Magic. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. One more thing they've done well is challenge shooters and chain shots. A lot of blocks early. That free throw, no good. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Davis has checked in for Carmelo Anthony. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. He's got On the wing, Monk. Davis down low. Good by Bamba. Good! Davis has got his third basket of the night right there. Terrific physicality from Davis on the offensive glass, creating another opportunity 
and scoring. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. There's the drive. Monk. And a missed layup. The Magic trail by seven. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. The Magic again can't hit. Los Angeles has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And it's denied. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Twelve seconds left in the first quarter. The pass to Davis. Stolen by Bamba. Here's Wagner. Can't nail the jump. And so the first quarter is in the books. Los Angeles on top. They lead by seven. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Well, leadership definitely in LeBron James's job description. He says it's not always giving pats on the back. The complex it just builds character. Um, it builds even more trust. You're able to get on someone, someone able to get on you, and then, you know, the whistle blown, just get out and let's execute what needs to be done. You know, GA, that ability to hold your teammates accountable is important, isn't it? Not only that, it's a hallmark of winning teams. Those open and honest lines of communication. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. On the court for Orlando, Mohamed Bamba is out there with Robin Lopez. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Suggs. And it's Wagner in at the three spot. Now here's Anthony. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Three on the clock. Tries from 10. Good. He hits the jump shot. And a lot of players want a voice in team strategy. And I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. Here's Anthony following the basket by Anthony Davis. The drive by Anthony, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. <laughs> the guy to my side here, Greg, is a dad. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief, that inner belief in his, himself and his abilities. And, that's something that started early on in his life, and honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. That's good from Anthony. James checked in for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook comes in for Monk. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. And both free throws, good for Anthony. And here is Los Angeles now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Passes it to Jordan. Over Lopez. Jordan kicks to James. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. 
Here's Suggs. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Bobs it up for Jordan. Isaac with the steal. And here is Suggs. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. Over James. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut to just five on the basket from Suggs. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. Back to James. He lobs it up, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan, finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Kendrick Nunn. Orlando also making some changes. Okiki's checked in for Wagner. And it's Fultz in for Suggs. Anthony, the pass to Isaac. Back to Anthony. And Davis sends it back. The incredible length of Davis. He uses it to perfection to come up with the block. James, the pass to Westbrook. Back to James. To the middle. And Davis throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Anthony with it. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. They recover it. James kicks to West. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. A shot that time, not on target. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, the Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change when it comes to health. Guys? All right, David, thank you. Now, here's Fultz. Outside, Anthony. Back to Fultz. Pass to Isaac. Outside, Anthony. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Jordan's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Fultz against James. Ariza outside. He kicks it to Davis. Lakers working the ball around now. Westbrook passes to Jordan. Good D by Lopez. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Now Anthony. And it's blocked by Jordan. Well, DJ, twice on the pipes. No, sir. Get it out of here. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. And Davis puts it in. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. There's Okiki following the basket by Anthony Davis. Isaac kicks to Lopez. Pass to Okiki. Anthony taking his time here. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Yeah, and they show effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now here's Jordan. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Fultz dishes to Lopez over a reason. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
That's on LeBron James. You know, with Robin Lopez, a career mid-70s free throw shooter, we'll take that any time from the center position. For Orlando, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. That's good from Lopez. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Terrence Ross has checked in for the Magic. Both free throws good from Lopez. Here's James. 20 points for him last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Now the pass to Westbrook. Over Fultz. Westbrook, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. The Magic trail by nine. Pass to Isaac. Back to Fultz. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Lakers leading by nine. Outside Westbrook. Into the lane. And Westbrook throws it down hard. I like when a coach says stay in front of Westbrook. Good luck with that. He blasts to the cup. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Magic. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Wide open look. And he hits the jump shot. Fultz has got six. I'll tell you, he's having his way right now in the second period. Forget the first quarter. Let's get to work. To the paint. Here's LeBron. And finished off by LeBron. Well, when LeBron James is starting to cook, his teammates understand, hey, perhaps the big guy, one of the greats of his generation, needs the basketball. Here's Fultz. He has six. Goes up again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They get Russell Westbrook. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. And good job they're doing at the line this quarter. They'll need to continue converting those free throws. Carter hits them both. Los Angeles leading by nine. Pass to James. LeBron is doubled. Isaac with the steal. And oh, here we go with Ross. Nobody back. Oh, he just jams it right over LeBron. Wow. Yeah, Kevin, he's one of maybe two guys in the league who can finish on that kind of jam. Ross has so many dunks at his disposal. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Now here's James. 13 points in the game. Fultz with the ball. And it's Howard picking him up. Down low. Here's Okiki. And that one is stuffed right through. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. James. And LeBron throws it down hard. LeBron James ever the 
showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. The Magic trail by seven. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings. The most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. So here's Westbrook. Markel Fultz making his last shot. Back to Westbrook. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Sinks the three-pointer. Ariza's has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Some changes for the Lakers. Anthony comes in for Davis. And Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for James. The Magic also changing it up. Muhammad Bamba comes in for Isaac. And Wagner subbed in for Okiki. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play and every game. Uh, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. He's off on the first. Well, you think into Markel Fultz's early part of his career, he was under such scrutiny as the number one overall pick. This guy's starting to prove how valuable he can be. And he sinks the second. Lakers leading by seven. Here's Horton Tucker. He's still scoreless so far in this one. From 13, again, Los Angeles. Well, Melo has made a name for himself with his mid-range game, and you can see why right there. For Orlando, they've gone 7-16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. He misses the free throw. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Suggs, he's checked in for Terrence Ross. And the second free throw, good. And here is Los Angeles now. And here's Westbrook. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Knocks down the three ball. Horton Tucker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. They trail by 11. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Pass to Howard. Back to Westbrook. Shoots the three. Another shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, because of his frame, Dwight Howard is so problematic for the defense. Gets to the foul line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two 
Free throw good, Howard. Listen, we know Dwight Howard is on the back nine of his career, but he can still be valuable. This guy is capable of a double-double every night. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Magic trail by ten. Here he goes. Westbrook with the block. Oh, my goodness. Russell Westbrook twice on the pipe sends that shot back. My goodness. Bobbed up there for Howard. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. That's about communication between teammates. Dwight Howard high-flying as ever. Well, Orlando shooting 44% from the floor since we began the second quarter. And then Carter with the jam. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Outside Westbrook. And stolen by Wagner. And Jalen Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. 104 left to play here in the half. Westbrook against Fultz. Shoots from the elbow. Here's Howard. Second chance shot. And Bamba pulls it down. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. And it's Carter missing. Lakers leading by eight. Westbrook with it. To the inside. Anthony. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And last year, Carmelo Anthony climbed into the top ten all-time in scoring. Well, I mean, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. And he may never get that NBA title, but you factor in college and international play, and it, there's no doubt. He'll be in Springfield. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, that's an interesting point about Carmelo, one of the most prolific free throw shooters in the history of the game. Spends a lot of time at the strike. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Lakers. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Russell Westbrook. Both free throws good from Anthony. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. The pass to Fultz feeds to Bamba. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on a reason. Well, let's remember, Mo Bamba is seven feet tall. He is a challenge for the defense to get a good contest. It's his first trip to the line. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And that one falls for Bamba. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. Anthony's checked in for the Magic. That 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Los Angeles leading by eight. Now, here's Monk. Los Angeles with another miss. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for him. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much with the Lakers, Frank Vogel. Coach, with your size advantage, were you trying to get the ball to Anthony Davis inside? Uh, not any more than usual. We just give him the basketball down low and ask him to read. You know, there's been a couple opportunities where they came in double and he found open God. If he gets single coverage, go score the ball. Thanks for your time, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He ended up with 15 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists. Shaq, what'd you think about the Lakers? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. That's how they built this lead. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Orlando? They got hammered. I mean hammered on the board. That stat tells a lot about this game. The heart has not been there. The sacrifice hasn't been there. I mean, they just don't want it. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Eight-point game. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Howard is out there with Trevor Ariza. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Now here's Fultz. Clock at four, 13 feet away. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Ariza goes in. Here's Howard. And it's sent back by Isaac. Isaac using every bit of that 6'10 frame to send it back. Lakers leading by eight. Outside Westbrook. To the middle. Here's Howard. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got five assists tonight. I'll tell you, running the pick and roll to perfection right there is Dwight Howard. Nice, strong roll to the cup. Now here's Ross. No good. Good D by Ariza. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And remember, Davis played point guard in high school, showing off the vision there with that nice dime. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Okiki. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Shooting two. 
first one falls for him. One is no good. Lakers leading by 11. Westbrook passes to LeBron. It's stolen. There's Okiki. Ariza covering. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. And that'll be his third foul so far. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Fultz against Westbrook. Now Fultz. 12 points for him. Five to shoot. Over Howard. And it's sent back by Howard. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. The Magic trail by 13. Here's Fultz. Westbrook with the ball. And a wide open look for James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got four assists in the game. The Magic have drawn 0-5 to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. Passes it to Isaac. Back to Fultz. Kicks it to Ross. Just five to shoot. And Davis sends it back. And they'll keep possession. The Magic again can't hit. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Lopez outside. Pass to Fultz. Inside. Here's Ross. And it's sent back by Howard. That's White Howard best sending it back. Reza passes to Westbrook and the shot goes down. Westbrook's got four this quarter. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off the six. The Magic trail by 17. And we've got an update here so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you Kevin. Anthony Davis of course is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter, and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? PA, he is a lead in every way, as are you. Thank you. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Here's Okiki. Trying to get open his local. Okiki, no good. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Well, this guy was the 43rd pick in the 2004 NBA draft. And what a career for Trevor Ariza. An NBA championship with the Lakers five years after he's drafted. The Lakers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. First one falls. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Magic trail by 18. Is Okiki. 
to halt the run, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now, here's Ariza. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Westbrook wide open. He fires. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Westbrook's got seven points here in this quarter. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic, trailing by 19. Pass to Ross. Looking to end his cold spell. He can't get it to go. LeBron with some nice deep. Lakers leading by 19 points. Down low. And slam dunk by Jordan. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Fultz finds Isaac. Back to Fultz. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, you love that Mark Cole Fultz has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. And they haven't been pushed Shoot around two. in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. That free throw good from Fultz. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for the Magic. Anthony comes in for Terrence Ross. And so Fultz nails them both. The Lakers with the ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Westbrook passes to Jordan. To the inside, James. And LeBron throws it down. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. And the way Russell Westbrook racks up triple doubles is just incredible. Does it so often. A testament, Doris, to his strong work ethic. I mean, this guy plays with such competitive spirit on both ends of the floor. Russell is relentless. He will sacrifice his body, and his teammates appreciate the effort he gives every single night. They grab their own miss. Here's Davis, and it's blocked. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Isaac touched it last. So for the Magic, Mohamed Bamba comes in for Okiki. And it sugs in for Markel Fultz. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 18 to 5 run. A shot's good from Westbrook. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Anthony. Carter right side. And that one goes long. LA's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Davis finds Ariza. James looking around. Back to Ariza. Trying his work from deep. Rebound by the Magic. And here's the fast break. Suggs leading the way. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. And bottom line, more boards means more possessions. That's how you build a lead. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Anthony's checked in for Davis. Horton Zucker comes in for James. Monks checked in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. And a switcher also for Orlando. Wagner's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. Now, here's Nunn. 
They lead by 24, their biggest margin. And the pass to Horton Tucker. Five on the clock, and it's off from three-point range. Orlando's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And here's Anthony for three. The shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. It's game one of a three-game road trip. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. The three from Anthony. And here is Suggs. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. And it's Wagner missing. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Here's Horton Tucker, defended by Carter. Taken away by Anthony. This is it to Bamba to stop the drought. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one's on Anthony. Well, obviously, this is where Mo Bamba is so dangerous. You make a mistake on the defensive end, he's going to take free throws. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Here's none. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. He kicks to Monk. And there's the drive. Dishes it to Carmelo. Bamba with the block. Anthony with it. Pass to Wagner. Shot clock at five. Bamba inside. Monk defending. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Here are the Magic now. None against Anthony. And Anthony gets it to go. Anthony's got six. Boy, how well does he use his frame to hold off the defense? Mello with the strong finish. And it's Anthony with the ball for Orlando. Carter outside. No good on the shot. Good D by Jordan. Now, here's Monk. Outside Anthony. Over to the left wing. Horton Tucker. The pass to Carmelo. Just four to shoot. Over Bamba. Anthony can't hit. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Looking to get back on track here. And they get it back. And Carter lays it up and in. He's got six. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Good job, good coming, good coming. Here's Horton Tucker. Covered by Bamba. Here's Anthony. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Anthony's got four points now in the quarter. 
and even with a big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. It's hard for them to cut into this lead when he's firing zeros. All period, he's been so cold. The turnaround, and that one is good. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Outside, Jordan. And uh, 101 left in the third. Takes it from 10. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got six rebounds in the game. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Shooting two. That's good from Anthony. Dwight Howard. He's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And a switcher also for Orlando. Isaac's checked in. Both free throws, good for Anthony. 43 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. To the middle, here's Howard. No good there. Good work defensively by Carter. Orlando's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. The wide-open look here for Anthony. They get the rebound. Here's Bamba, and it's sent back by Howard. They can close out the quarter if they want to. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Anthony down low. He's against Bamba. The layup off target. Here's Suggs. And Suggs throws it down. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. And so it's Los Angeles with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the Magic, and the wings, Suggs and Isaac. Bamba is out there with Robin Lopez. And it's Anthony in at the five. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. In the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005, now... Player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Here's Anthony. Takes it inside. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. And Los Angeles with some changes. Reeves is checked in. And Ellington is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Orlando also making some changes. 
Mo Wagner's checked in for Lopez. R.J. Hampton comes in for Bamba. And Harris subbed in for Anthony. The Lakers on D. Harris outside. Pass to Isaac. Shot from 12. Three on the clock. And that one's good, Wagner. That, to me, is exactly the kind of play you want from Mo Wagner. Aggressively chasing the rebound and getting a second chance opportunity. Reeves the pass to Ellington. Now the dish to Anthony. Shoots over Wagner. Rebounded by Isaac. The Magic have gone 1 of 4 since the end of the third quarter. Hampton. Off target from three point range. Los Angeles leading by 23. Isaac with the steal. Floats one up. Taken away by Anthony. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Ellington the pass to none. Here's Reeves. Anthony. It's good on the putback. After an ice cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Magic shooting a disastrous 25% from the field so far. To the paint. And it's Wagner missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. None, that's good. None's got his first two points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Harris kicks to Hampton. With a floater, and he sinks the layup. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. None bounce pass. Here's Anthony. It's deflected. A denial by Mo Wagner using his size to his advantage. And there's the pass to Hampton. Here's Wagner. A rebound by the Lakers. Anthony's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the inside. Here's Isaac. No good. Shot missing. Good work defensively by Anthony. Passes to Reeves. Now Ellington. Pass to none. Over Harris. None can't get it to fall. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Suggs. From down in the low post, it goes. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grab it for air. Isaac against James. Down low, Ellington. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Harris passes to Suggs. Here's Isaac. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. LeBron's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Reeves. And the Lakers get it back. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Inside. None against Harris. Here's none. Ellington, the pass to Reeves. James, left side. Six on the shot clock. No one near him. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And here is Harris. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The pass to Hampton. Isaac against none. Here's Wagner. 
The three-pointer off the mark. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to none. Fires the three. Sinks the triple. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Lakers have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice day back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've gone back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. James, the pass to Carmelo. Now, here's Ellington. Guarded closer. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, averaging over a half dozen free throw attempts a game for his career. I mean, Mello so skilled at getting to the free throw line. That free throw good from Anthony. Kent Bazemore is checked in for the Lakers. And the Magic making a change here as well. Wagner's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. Both good from the line that time. Greg player movement is always a constant in the NBA. But with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Harris against Bazemore. Here's the teardrop. Rebound by the Magic. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Harris passes to Suggs. Now, Wagner over Anthony. And it's Wagner missing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Shoots from 12. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Anthony's got 17 points here in the second half. And Orlando has possession. Suggs with the ball. Pass to Wagner. And the rejection by James. Oh, you watch LeBron. Not a prolific shot blocker. But when he wants to get it done, he is emphatic. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. So Anthony will go to the free throw line. It's on Franz Wagner. free throw good from Anthony the dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting with some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement what do you think 
Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case, and, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor, and maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Orlando's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Now, here's Hampton. Defense is right there. And he makes the first. That one misses. Los Angeles has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. To the middle. It's deflected. Here's Anthony. No good that time. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Suggs in the corner. Pass to Wagner. Now, here's Suggs. Ellington defending and stolen by Bazemore. And a slam dunk by Bazemore. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Harris finds Wagner. Trying to break that ice cold streak. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. And here are the Lakers. They're on a 19-7 run. Inside. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by LeBron. Anthony's got 26. That attack mentality like he does so often. Melo just putting on an offensive clinic here. Harris against Bazemore. There's the pass to Wagner. And the rejection by James. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Passes it to Ellington. Here's Reeves. Lock at six. And they double up James. Here's Ellington. Offensive rebound. LeBron kicks to Ellington. A second chance effort. And he lays it up and in. Ellington's got four points in the quarter. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And we've come to expect nothing less from one of the league's elite players, but another tour de force for LeBron. Boy, I think you could pick about any area of this basketball game and feel like he excelled in it. He was a dominant figure at both ends of the floor and finishes with a triple-double. What an unbelievable performance. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Anthony kicks to James. Shoots over Wagner. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. 
Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. It just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Russell, congrats. How satisfying is this win? And it's great. Um, you know, what we supposed to do. We came in and competed at a high level defensively. For the most part, and uh, got the win. And you continue to keep it rolling, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.